The Firebirds will strive to become the Netball Championship's greatest team when they host the Swifts in their fourth straight grand final. And while coach Rosalie Jenke has been the cornerstone of that success, she refuses to take any credit. Trent Simpson has more. Rosalie Jenke doesn't have the resources of the Maroons machine or the budget of the Broncos. Her home is also her office. Hours of preparation gets done from the lounge. That's what you're in it for. It's a great, great career. Um, I love the game. I love sport and I wouldn't have it any other way. A tireless work ethic has made her one of the state's most prominent coaches. 78 victories from 105 games. She boasts a greater winning percentage than Lee Matthews and Mal Meninga, and one current mentors could only dream of. If she had that record, you know, in an NRL club, she'd be she'd be earning well over a million dollars a year as a coach. I'd love to probably pick her brain one day to see how how she's done it. You don't have a break, and if you take the job thinking that it will be. Like like that, you're in the wrong career. Laura Geitz has played a significant role in Queensland's run to greatness. At 28, the skipper has hinted to teammates, Sunday could be a swan song. Laura's just a champion of the game and I've always said to my players is that you'll know when the time is right. Victory in the decider would stamp the Firebirds as the most successful team in netball history with three titles. You only do that when you've got a lot of respect and healthy respect for uh, the coach and she's done a wonderful job and I take my hat off to her. It's great for you know Queensland, it's great for the Firebirds and uh, you know we'll be, we'll be watching and supporting them as well. At the end of the day it's all about the athlete, it's got nothing to do with me. Her team would beg to differ. Trent Simpson, 10 Eyewitness News.